Hi everyone. I'm entered in a junk journal swap that Yvonne is hosting on the UK Ireland Craft Swap group on Facebook. And this is what I've come up with. My partner is Maria Kingsford. And we haven't done a swap before, so I'm looking forward to this. Anyway, this is what I've done. It's quite old looking, sort of old fashioned antique sort of thing. But I had some troubles with a fastener for the back and I had ribbons and I had um, the metal rings. I also had um, some string that I'd plaited and put through, but they were all too fiddly. Um, the rings were too small and the bigger ones looked absolutely ridiculous. The ribbons you had to untie everything and the string was much the same, so it was all in bows. And you had to, anyway, it looked a mess, so I had to come up with something else and I came up with these I've seen people do this since, because I've gone looking to find out where I must have got the idea from. I've seen people use these for bindings, but I've not, sorry, for closures, but I've not seen them do them for bindings. And all it is, is a length of elasticated cord with a button on the front that's got a little bit on the back that you hook the elastic through, and an ordinary little button on the back, and you can bring it round, and you can have this in the front, or you can have it on the spine like these are. Or you can have them completely around the back if you want to do that with them. It's up to you. And it makes for quite an easy opening. You can obviously use the book with them all done up. But if you want to go through it or add pages to it or whatever, you can just undo them, which is what I'm going to do now. And as you can see, it's not a hard thing to do. The front cover, I've got this junk journal part here. I just printed out on the computer aged it with vintage photo, stuck it onto some black card and then onto gold card and popped it up a little bit and I put a little bit of recollections bling there that I found in my drawer and then see I can open this quite wide now because it's undone and on this side we have an envelope full which I'll show you of doilies, postcards, little envelopes that you put together um, my very first art tile that I made, some crafty Embley pieces, uh, some little tickets I think Janet gave me, and and little sayings that I haven't used in the book, but I've left them there. They can go in or be left out. It's up to um, Maria how she wants to use them. It's got words out easy, like the wind, faithful friends are hard to find, and that's a William Shakespeare quote. I've also put a quote up here which says let each day be your masterpiece and that's by an unknown author but I thought it was pretty good. We've got a leftover blank from making an ATC, that was when we did the dress form one. So it's quite pretty and it's sort of embossed with roses. I've got a piece of card here that's got paper stuck to the front and a sta saying stamped on the back. A journaling spot which was given to me I think by Ems but I can't be sure. And behind there we've got some tags. That one's just got handmade by Louise and a little note on the back. And this wish here. And I um, got that from a Christmas set, actually. And then there's a flower, a quick flower, plastic mirror shark type thing that mirrors the flower on there. I've got a cotton reel here that's got string around it which was sent to me in a rack. It's just paper and Roberta, I think, um, I can't remember the numbers, it's Bobby something or other, I'll put that below, sent me a little calendar and I used that because it's a 2013 junk journal. I've done it as a calendar by putting in the actual calendar pieces, one for each month. That's there. And I've got a very distressed tag that I've made ages ago and a winter scene postcard, a little pouch with some paper and a chipboard tag that I used for a template. And we're into February. These are just little leftover bits and bobs that I had lying around that I've stuck in. This postcard came from Top Man. Another saying down here, which is from 
Bob Marley, which says, the truth is everyone is going to hurt you. You just have to find the ones worth, suf worth suffering for. My son actually has a Bob Marley quote on his arm, tattooed now. So he's got that one for life, but it's not that one. And then we've got to spring and I've got a woodland area full of bluebells as a postcard. Again, it's all really old vintage postcards of places around Nottinghamshire and Lincolnshire. I've got another pocket here and I've put a crafty envy door hanger in it and it just says decorate me. So it's a little something there to be decorated. Just some odd pieces of paper, some game sheets. Got another little pocket here. Um, I've got a sign at the top which says no one ever became great by imitation and that was a rub on from Janet that I've put in there. And then I found another quote which says goodness is the only investment that never fails and there's a little ticket there with a flower that Emily sent me and there's nothing on the back of there so it can be you, know, you could stick some you know photograph over there if you want to you could just replace it and put something else in there altogether um, this piece of paper here was left over from doing the cover so I turned it into a pocket and filled it with various bits of um paper which can be used as either photo mats or that that is an actual gift tag that came from a wrapping paper set so it be used as that and some little pieces of paper for notes I've also got another little pocket I put in next to it that just says live full the life you have imagined and some little tags and that's got like a little peel off balloon on it and these I think came from Emily as well they like little peel-offs. I've stamped little bits and pieces in places. I won't show you it all exactly because there's lots going on in here. There's a flower cellar, from, or a French flower cellar. That's a piece of Prima paper, I believe, and I could even have that wrong. Some more papers I just made a remember stamp because there's room there for things that you might want to put. And there's a little cupcake stamp at the top, and that again. That image was from Janet, it's a little one um, cigarette card. We've got a ticket up there which says family. Another little journaling spot. We've got a summer garden postcard. Then I've got um, a pocket which has got paper in. But in the front I put a little pocket on the front which was just a little tiny piece of, I don't know, mirror card really I suppose. And I made some little tags and there's another little cigarette card in the back. And I just attached the tags, these little circles and punched holes in all of them. Then I've got a very distressed tag there. And explore. There's a little Christmas tag. All can be used to, to write on, you can take them out and put something else in their place. Paper, a piece of shiny, red shiny card with a butterfly on it. This tag has got stars cut out of it and it's attached to that page. I've just got a little sticker on the back covering the bread. Another piece of paper which was left over from doing the spine of the book. Then this was an advert for a um, architecture antiques supplier. And this is black and white and I've aged it with a bit of finished photo to make it look a little bit older. The black and white was really stark paper, another pocket with various tags all the way around. And then we're getting into autumn and it's an autumn woodland scene. This was a black and white um, paper bag, like a sweetie bag, which I folded in half, cut the ends off and mod podged so it's quite strong now. And that's off of a birthday card, blank on the back. These are postcard backs, blank on the back so you can do what you like with those. Some lined paper some tags and some little um, die cuts that were sent to me as well. Another one of Janet's cigarette cards. Little envelopes that would discover more paper. But to do things, you can put things you have to do in that pocket if you want to. And then we've got Remember Life's Treasures Are People and Not Things. And that's got a little tag in there as well. A postcard type thing, it's one of the um, Kanban, I think, cards. 
and some paper and this here at the bottom is actually a little pocket there's a want there so you can put a want list and on the back you've got another little shiny pocket and you've got some more game pieces a little envelope which I will put something in and handmade by Louise there and that is the basis of the book and if you want to leave it like that and leave it out you can it is up to you but when you this is actually pulled out properly just show you you can see how wide that could be because you can obviously add as much in there as you want and to do it up if you want to do it up put it away it's really quite simple I've got my dog here at the moment and he keeps licking my foot as if I say I'm here man. he doesn't want me to clear off because I'm nearly done for today I've got stuff to get and places to be etc 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 haven't we all you know, just take a second to do this it is easier if you use both hands by the way um, and that's that just one little thing because this is on elastic and there's two buttons on there you would either have to cut the elastic and pull them out if you want to add in lots of pages or what I did because there's a couple of things I want to put in now to show you just open it somewhere best open it where you can see what I'm doing maybe what I should do. um, I've got a piece of ordinary pattern paper that was left over from something here and I've hole punched it to the size of where these holes are and I've put a little slit in the back just a tiny little split at the back of each hole so now if I want to add any pages and you can add them anywhere you don't have to add them in the middle or whatever you can add them wherever you like you can just add them like that and that is now in the book um, and you can obviously do that with as many as you want I'll just show you how I did that briefly Paper here, my, whole, my old old punch that I found for 20 pence on a boot sale. You just have to make sure that you get your middle spots right because it's got a little middle mark on this. So on this one, I've now got four holes. And I get my scissors, and all I do, it doesn't have to be smack down the middle because it, it'll move either way and I'll just put this in here to show you and you just push it in and you've got an extra page in your book and that's it that's my junk journal for Maria I hope you like it honey it was easier than I was expecting and it's the first one I've done so I've no idea <coughs> if it's really how it should, ought to be but it is definitely made up from bits and pieces that I had left lying around here. Some that people have sent me, and I'm sorry if I didn't mention your name. It's just that my memory's like a sieve at the minute, but thank you all very, very much. And that's yours, Maria. Catch you all soon. Bye-bye.